good morning welcome to a brand new vlog series today is travel day and we're going to disney world today i am so excited i can't wait it feels like we only went like a couple of weeks ago it wasn't it was 10 months ago but i feel super super lucky to be going back i'm so excited as you can probably tell but if you don't know me hello my name is shannon and over the past couple of years me and my fiance ben have done a couple of disney trips and we've started vlogging a few. You'll still have to bear with us, we're still very new at this. Um, I still very much do this for kind of my own personal memories to look back on and reminisce and all that rubbish. Um, but yeah, very excited. Hopefully we will bring you some magic along the way and bring you some tips and tricks along the way too. Speaking of tips and tricks, um, this vlog series has a bit of a theme to it. So if you're trying to do Disney on a budget, stick around because hopefully we'll be able to help. That is going to be the whole kind of theme of this series is trying to do Disney as cheap as possible. Feels impossible to do Disney for cheap because it's always going to be expensive no matter what you do but that is our aim is to just do this as cheap as possible because it was quite a last minute trip so we're not staying on site or anything we are trying to do this as budget friendly as possible so hopefully we'll be able to bring you some tips and tricks and everything of how to do that but I need to stop rambling because Ben's putting the bags in the car right now we are about to leave for Heathrow let's go Disney World Just arrived at Heathrow, um, just taking Ben's car. Um, the guy's actually down there now, taking photos of it, so he's moving it, and we are just about to head to the terminal. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Someone made a stupid mistake wearing shorts. It's freezing cold, like I can see my breath outside, and he's wearing shorts. Um, but that's his problem. Um, we had done the meet and greet parking, so we had to come to the short stay um, park in Terminal 3, go up to level 4, and then you have to park at row A, and then they just give you the keys and they can obviously move your car for you. Then they give you the number to call when you're back, and they do the rest for you, so nice and easy. Sorry, can't even see me. Level 1, yeah? Level 1, yeah. Oh. Even better. Okay. We just come through security, all fine. It was actually really quick. Um, bag drop was literally five minutes, and then security was really quick as well. We are just in duty free, looking at some perfume. Don't need any more perfume, but I'm slightly obsessed with Marc Jacobs, so may treat myself. I don't know yet. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, there's one that we have been looking for for God knows how long, and we've never been able to find it. It's in here, so. So we're just going to have a look around duty free um, and have a look around the shops and everything and then we have reservations for the number one lounge and neither of us have actually ever done a number one lounge or a lounge at all um, so yeah it'll be nice to do something different um, airports don't bother me but you don't really like airports do you? No, they're boring. <laughs> they're boring. Um, I quite like airports because to me it's like the start of your holiday but someone finds them a bit boring. Do you want glasses this time? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a little sunglasses. You look like an idiot. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Just in the lounge, I'm not going to talk too loud really, just because there's a lot of people here, but you've got to like, really go to the window. So we're sitting in like one of the rooms back there. Got wrong with you over here. So you've got the whole window that goes all the way across. So you've got a one from way of view. Then I'll quickly show you the food. The bar over there which is obviously all included and in everything and then you've got some soft drinks here tea coffee machine another coffee machine you can make your own pancakes here which i had earlier they're okay they're a little bit anemic but they're not bad and then you've got some muffins some bagels and everything there some cereal yogurt i might grab some of that in a minute and then you hot stuff over here, so you've got beans, mini potatoes, like kind of like tater tots, um, egg, sausage, and bacon. I'll cut you over there. But yeah, 
nice. I'll give you a review when we leave. Someone likes his new headphones. <laughs> so we've just come out of the number one lounge out of five. Three. Uh, yeah, I'd probably do the same. Um, anyway, I'd probably go back. I would go back. Oh, I would do that. Um, I just don't think it's worth sixty quid. No, and I don't think we. Got the chocolate. I don't feel like we kind of got enough time in there to be able to make the most out of it. So we was only in there for about an hour and a half. Um, I had a plate of pot and then some muffins and that. You kind of got it all in one. Um, had a couple of drinks and that, it was, yeah, it was nice. Um, but yeah, we just didn't spend enough time in there, I don't think, to be able to utilize it properly. Um, yeah, I'd probably say a three, but I would still go back. The food was just okay, it was mediocre, it was all right. Um, I want to say the same kind of food as Weatherspoons. <laughs> People prefer Weatherspoons, you weirdo. I want to say it's the same kind of rate as Weatherspoons, I'd say, like food wise. Nothing special, but get the job done. I'll definitely say go there, it's a hell of a lot more relaxed than being in the actual terminal. But today I feel like the terminal is really busy. I would definitely recommend going there over right? sitting in the terminal, especially if you kind of suffer with any like anxiety or anything like that, or don't like crowds or anything. If you haven't done a lounge, try it because it might make the world a difference. But we're just heading to the gate now. We are gate number 16, so hopefully it's not a mile and a half walk like it normally is. Normally it's like gate 95 and you've got to walk like 20 miles to get there, but that's all good. Very happy news. We did think it was going to be a 10 hour flight. They've just come on the channel here and said it's going to be 8. Don't know what they're doing different, but they're going to put their foot down this time, so we'll get to Orlando two hours later. I'll take that. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Do you do jam then cream or cream then jam? I do jam then cream. But I always get my dad out wrong. <laughs> like my family do it the other way around. Huh? Ben's even more weird, he just puts jam on. He doesn't even have the cream, he just does jam. Um, yeah, jam then cream. I feel like that's right. But everyone that I talk to tells me I'm wrong. So let me know in the comments because I'm right. As far as I'm concerned anyway. and everything we had a good flight it was it just dragged a lot um just about to go get an uber to the hotel we're gonna unpack and then decide what we're doing we've got reservations for beaches and cream later um so stay tuned and i'll show you all around there hopefully we're gonna have like a walk around the boardwalk and everything um but because we're here an hour and a half earlier than we were meant to be we may pop to walmart um and just get a few essentials um essentials um but yeah we'll see we'll get to the hotel see how we feel then freshen up a bit either way and play it by ear i guess but we're here we're home i'm in my happy place i'm very happy hello so we are here i haven't really gone over too much about what we're actually doing this trip to be honest so quick rundown we are staying here for 10 nights and we are at the rosanian at lake buena vista so we're not staying on disney property which i think i did mention in the intro um but didn't kind of go too much into detail but yeah we're staying at the rosanian lake buena vista so cheap budget kind of motel -y vibe um but to be fair i'm actually quite pleasantly surprised at how clean and tidy and everything the room is i knew it would be clean from all the reviews that i've seen and everything i knew it would be clean but um yeah i'm quite impressed so far um obviously it is still budget it is still very basic and it's still it's quite a dated hotel um but yeah i'm quite happy so far so let me give you a quick room tour so front door behind me i'll show you the view that we've got from out there in a second and then i'll quickly flip you around there's benjamin hello so as soon as you come in you've got big bay windows and huge aircon which i am loving then you've got an armchair there and a, a lady bless her is checking out tomorrow so she just came to our hotel like our room where we were coming in going do you want some water i'm checking out tomorrow so that's lovely we've got some nice bottle of water that i'll be chucking in the fridge in a second then we've got two big double beds here and then you've got like a vanity, excuse all of our luggage and everything. And then you've got a vanity space with big mirror, hello, and lamp. And then you've got, oh the lighting's not great, there we go. Then you've got big TV, drawers with four big drawers and then like space underneath there. In between the beds you've got your safe, phone, alarm, 
little notepad and another lamp. It has got the complete wrong time on it, but oh well, we're not going to be using that as an alarm anyway. Um, then you've got three big fluffy pillows on each bed, and then you've got a big freestanding wardrobe here. Let's have a look, see if it's got anything in it. Doesn't have anything in it, it's just got hangers and another mirror. And then coming into the bathroom oh and you've also got iron and ironing board there as well coming into the bathroom hello again you've got fridge down there which is a nice big size that'll do you've got microwave in these rooms as well as well as coffee machine like um ice box and all of that stuff some towels got your single sink big mirror hair dryer makeup light or whatever normal light whatever up there and then a separate room you've got your toilet and your shower i have heard that apparently the showers aren't the most powerful but we will see i'll be testing that out in a minute but yeah i'm happy what do you think for the hotel so far yeah it's all right it's outside is outside i feel like it's fairly yeah, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I had seen a couple of vlogs um, over the past couple of months, obviously, because we, we knew we were coming here. That aircon is very good, by the way. Um, yeah, because I knew we were coming here, I watched a couple of vlogs just because I was kind of, not worried, but just trying to be cautious, make, like making sure that we've made like, the right decision, trying to book like the cheapest room possible. Um, but yeah, from what I've seen so far, I'm quite impressed. I will show you a little bit later but there's a restaurant arcade or like games room kind of thing and a shop downstairs as well let me quickly show you outside the only thing about this i'm not going to show you the pool because there's people in it but the pool's down there and then we've got like a runway view and then the premium outlets are over there but there's kids in that in the pool but the pool is literally just down there as well so i'm not going to show you that but yeah so you come out straight outside and when you close the door can't hear it at all so yeah I don't think it matters too much if you're on that side I think a lot of people I've heard say or be on the other side it's a lot it's a lot better I think if you're a light sleeper it may bother you but if you've got the aircon on and everything that makes a bit of a noise anyway um you can't really hear the cars out there anyway can you really as soon as you close the door you can't really hear them so yeah I am happy. Obviously, we're not going to be here during the day anyway, so kids screaming in the pool, I don't really care because we're not going to be here anyway. This is literally just somewhere to rest our head. So as long as it's clean and tidy, I don't care. Um, anyway, we are going to have a quick freshen up. Ben wants to watch the Liverpool Man United game, um, or like the highlights from it, because um, we were on the plane when that happened. We've also already purchased some Disney things. I know, I can't help myself. Um, I wanted to try them out. Um, obviously, we've had the normal Magic Bands, but I wanted to try Magic Band Plus. So, we've got ourselves Magic Band Plus each. I've got the... When it wants to focus. There we go. I've got the 100th anniversary one. And Benjamin has just got like a black Walt Disney one, which I quite like the colours on that. That's quite nice. Um, it's quite like the vintagey, like the Walt Disney sign as well, which like it. And I got a pin. Um, but it's so cute, and I haven't actually seen this one before either. It's Donald. Hang on, there we go. It's Donald and Goofy one with like the partner statue in the castle in the background. I love. Very cute. Anyway, we are gonna quickly go freshen up, not look like this, um, and head off to the boardwalk, I think. We was thinking of maybe going to Walmart tonight, but I have got plans to go later in the trip anyway, so we'll see how we feel, um, if we just wanna chill out here for half hour, an hour or so, just to decompress and then go, we might, um, but we'll, we'll see how we feel when we get sorted. Um, but either way, we have reservations tonight at Beaches and Cream, which I'm very excited about. I love it there. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a walk along the boardwalk and everything, and maybe some nose in at the hotels. Um, but today has been a very, very long travel day. So, hmm? it has. <laughs> I think we're both feeling it today. So, it's not going to be a late night, but I want to push as much as we can. So, even if we get back here at like, nine o'clock i'm happy with that i'm happy to go to bed then because 
at our time that'll be two o'clock in the morning and it has felt like a very very long day so yeah we're gonna go get freshened up and i will see you in a second so we've just had a quick freshen up chuck some ears on got some <laughs> it's raining um i think today is meant to be the only day of the whole holiday so far that it's meant to be raining so it's only for a couple of hours it's fine um but we've just ordered an uber so we're sitting outside it is very humid um i didn't think it'd be this hot in march um good but sweating so yeah um bit of a update on the hotel I, I am really impressed with the actual hotel i think the only downside and it's something that you'd need to have a look at if you were planning to come um and i think like he's been saying the same kind of thing as well unless you're driving you're gonna have to rely quite heavily on uber so the shuttles to and from the parks they do do free shuttles but there's like one a day and the times don't really add up they're not great times or anything so i think you're gonna have to rely quite heavily on uber if you're not driving if you're driving great but i think other than that that's the only downside i can see at the minute bless you that's the only downside i can see at the minute with this hotel other than that it's cheap it's close to disney it's clean it's got good reviews um the staff that we've all met so far have been really friendly the room's good it's good size um yeah it seems like a really really good hotel so far obviously i'll give you a keep updating you as we kind of go through the trip um if our opinions change or anything first opinion so far is it is very good the only thing i would say is obviously regarding the travel and um, the shuttle situation um if you're driving no issues at all if not you'll have to rely heavily on uber because the shuttles aren't great um which we knew and we was aware of that and we kind of made sure that we had enough money for that um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. And just like that, we're in the beach club. It started absolutely peeing down on the way here. Uber driver was quite colourful, bless him. He was lovely, um, really chatty. Yeah, drove around the car park like twice just to get out of the hotel. But yeah, bless him. Um, yeah, everyone looks soaked. Um, you're right. Um, yeah, I love this resort. One day, one day, we will stay here. Just been sat in Beach Street. If you don't know anything about it, um, it's located in the beach club. It's really known for like their sundaes and ice creams and milkshakes with like cakes on them. Like they're insane. But they do normal food as well. But it is basically like this kind of vibe. I love it. And they do a thing called the Kitchen Six Sunday. Basically, if you order it, they have like alarms going off and there's like a whole pan of whipped cream on it and they do a whole thing. It's great. But if you've got a family, like a big family, that you think you can polish it off because it's a lot, try that because it's fun and they do like a whole bit. It's good. Um, but yeah, we are just about to order our food. I'm not sure what I'm going for yet. Just come out of Beaches and Cream. Had a really good meal. I didn't really film too much of it to be honest. We are both absolutely knackered and I just forgot. To be honest, um, what would you rate out of five? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'd probably say the same. Um, standard food, good food. Um, I had the barbecue cheese and chicken burger. That was really good. And Ben just had a plain burger. Um, yeah, really good food. Um, good atmosphere and everything in there. I filmed a little bit, but just not too much. Um, I don't think I filmed anything of the food or anything. Um, but we are just sat in the lobby of the beach club, just ordered an Uber, and we're on our way home. It has been a very, very long travel day to say the least. Um, a very good day. Um, still don't feel real. I don't think that we're actually in Disney World. I don't think until we get into the parks tomorrow, I'll kind of, I don't feel like I'm, it's gonna hit me until I'm in the parks tomorrow. Um, but yeah, had a really good day. Had a good day? You're shattered, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna end the vlog here now. Um, just cause we are literally going back to the hotel and crash in. Um, but thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I know it's been a long journey, a long day. Um, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll stick around to see the rest of our vlog series. Um, I'll be posting them here, there and everywhere so there's not kind of a specific day or anything. But thank you all for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see everything else. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.